What exactly is well-being? It, is it something subjective or objective? Is it if equivalent to happiness, a satisfying life, or something else? To what extent can you control fate? Michael will help us see if we can put fate in our own hands. Indeed, today is a talk about sources, I think, sources of what has been called well-being, and we're looking here at well-being across the lifespan. This is a question that has fascinated me throughout my life, of course. I was really born to be a psychologist. How many of you who raised your hand would like to reach 80? <laughs> I think getting through every day is an achievement for each of us. And I want to congratulate everybody in the room for getting this far. Uh, it's a measure of success, if you think about it, and certainly most of the people in this room would regard their lives as successful to date. Of course, we're always interested in the people who aren't in the room. <laughs> and I suggest that we all have to confront uh, our current and our past familial, ecological, economic, political, social contexts. And this is the, the vortex, if you like, within which we live our lives and achieve what we achieve. And we currently face a lot of challenges and also pressures in the economic, all right, social, political, and physical environment. I think uh, the topic we have chosen today is particularly timely. So what is the relationship between, say, religion and uh, subjective well-being? People within a given religious community will be very supportive of one another during many of the crises of life. At my age, being orderly is no longer that important. And part of it is to rebalance and say, well, maybe it's time to be not as orderly, to try different things. And that, to me, is more well-being in order to find a rebalance. I would say what you need to have less control over is your interpersonal relationships. To allow them to blossom and embrace you rather than develop the or, or maintain the kinds of control strategies that we all develop as teenagers. But for some reason, Hong Kong uh, is regardless the longest life a city in the world for Absolutely. some reason. Mm -hmm. How satisfied are you with your life to date? We're doing pretty well. Yeah. And I didn't have to pay for my flu shot yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>